Yo, what is up guys? My name is Eric and today I'm going to be showing you guys another really cool card trick. This card trick is very simple but has a good effect on the spectator. So I hope you guys do enjoy this trick and let's get right into the performance. Alright, I'm going to start off by shuffling the deck so my spectator doesn't think the deck is set up in any order. Alright, I'm going to have my spectator have them select the card and say they select the 10 of spades all right Let's, the camera can see that all right 10 of spades now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divide the deck into three packs all right now I would ask the spectator if I had one to place their card on top of any pile and say they put it on this pile okay now I'm gonna stack these piles up and what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to deal out the deck face up into piles, okay? So this process is a little boring. It takes a while, but don't worry. Alright, so I'd have, I dealed out the deck into four piles, and I'm just going to gather these piles up right now. Alright, so now that I dealed out the piles, I was actually doing something when I, when I was dealing them out. Watch, if I just go and riffle down the side of the deck, I should find your card. The Six of Spades, right? Was that your card? No, the Six of Spades wasn't your card. Um, what was your card? Um, the Ten of Spades, you said? Let's see. Uh, T-E-N-O-F-S-P-A-D-E-S. -E like you said, the Ten of Spades. So, that's the trick. I hope you guys enjoyed, and let's get right into the tutorial. So, I hope you guys didn't enjoy that trick. This trick is very simple, completely not set up impromptu. Um, only one thing, before the trick, you have to memorize the bottom card of the deck. But say say they select the bottom card. Say they select that the eight of diamonds that you need to memorize, okay? Because you need to memorize the bottom card. Say they pick the eight of diamonds. What I do if they pick the bottom card is I just do a 180 real quick. I just do a 180 and I just take a glance at the bottom card. And the bottom cards the nine diamonds that's just if they pick the bottom card if not then you're perfectly fine just memorize the bottom card so i'm memorizing the eight of diamonds you have the spectator select the card um ten of hearts they say they select the ten of hearts but if you're scared they might select the bottom card just do a riffle down the side and then ask them to say stop but in this case they uh they pick the ten of hearts and what you want to do is you want to divide the deck into three piles and make sure the far right pile is the pile with the card you're memorizing so here's my eight of diamonds I'm memorizing one two and then there's the eight of diamonds from here you want to ask them to put their card on top of any pile and when I usually perform this trick they're just like uh, like can you turn around I don't want you to see but I'm just like it's okay if I see what pile you put it on as long as I don't see your card so if they're worried about you seeing what pile you put it on just make an excuse that it's okay if you see it and say they put their card on top of the pile with the bottom card you're memorizing what you have to do is you have to get your bottom card on top of theirs so my bottom card is here obviously and there's their card on top if that happens if, if that's the case you just have to do a little one cut that's it all right and then just stack the piles and if that's not the case say they put it on a different pile what you have to do then is take the pile with the card you have to memorize and place it on top of their card wherever that whatever they do you just have to get your card on top of theirs that's all you have to do so from here you have to deal out cards face up and so during this process you're just doing it normally and you you have to go onto the next pile 
want to see your bottom card. So I just saw my eight of diamonds. The next card is going to be theirs. So there's their ten of hearts. So now you know their card. And you just keep dealing them out. And then whenever you want, make sure you have enough cards. Because the next pile, you're going to spell out their card. So I know their card is the ten of hearts now. I go T-E-N-O-F-H-E-A-R-T-S. And then I move on. And I just deal out the rest into other piles. Okay. So from here, you have to keep track of what card or what pile you spell out their card and what pile their card is in. So this is just a random pile. This is just a random pile. This is just a random pile. And then take the pile with their card in it. So now these are all face down. Take their card. Take the pile with their card in it, so their card is at the bottom. Flip that over. So now their ten of hearts is right here. And then take the pile where you spelt their card and place that on top of their card. So now, when you they tell you your, their card, you can just spell it out and then the next card will be theirs. What I do is I throw them off and like, watch. So when I dealed out the cards face up, I was actually doing something. And look, I found your card, the four of hearts. They're going to be like, no, that's not my card. And then you ask them, okay, what was your card? And if you get a person that says, I don't know, why don't you tell me what my card is? And you'd be like, okay, your card was a ten of hearts. Just tell them. They'll be amazed. But if they don't do that and they actually tell you, it just be like this. Okay, watch. T-E-N-O-F-H-E-A-R-T-S. Next card is there. Ten of hearts. So that was the tutorial. I'm sorry if... Um, instructions weren't clear it's not that hard that's why i was like rushing it a little bit it's a simple trick and if you don't understand if you still don't understand from the tutorial go ahead and ask your questions down in the comment section below so that was the performance and tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed and if you did leave a like and a comment and if you're new to my channel please subscribe and make sure to hit that notification button and as always i'll see you guys in the next video Peace.